Okay, this is a very quick tutorial on the very basics of how to fly a quadcopter for a newbie. For this exercise, I'm using a Tiersen CX-10. That's this little dinky thing here. Most of them follow the same principles. So, this is the controller. On the left, you have a throttle for the speed, altitude, whatever you want to call it. That's up and down. Try to keep it down at zero whenever you can to minimize accidents. Left and right is to rotate. To clarify, to rotate like that. To point in the direction you want to go. This one here, um, they are called the pitch, which is up and down, and aileron, left and right. Now, to simplify this, um, what this does is it tilts the quadcopter. So if you push up, it tilts forward. If you pull backwards, it pulls backwards. Uh, it tilts backwards. Um, the purpose of this is to move it. This one here rotates up, down, goes up and down. This one is to move and rotate the direction. So left, it will tilt like this. Right, it will tilt like that. Now. For this one, there's a nice little on-off button. As a complete beginner, a newbie, you should always aim to have the back facing you and the front facing away. So basically in the same direction as your own head. Why? Because if it starts to rotate or if you start it like that, then left is this way, right is that way. That is not easy to get used to. Even worse, like this, left guess what yep that way right is that way it's counterintuitive for a beginner so in the beginning try not to use left and right unless you are adjusting for drift so to start off with facing away and turn it on in this case you've got four LEDs now the ones on the back are red for back and blue for the front now as you can see the red ones are solid the blue ones are blinking this is because it cannot see the controller yet so that is rapid flashing if I turn on the controller it slows down because it can see a controller but it has not been acknowledged it has to confirm that this is the right controller for it and to do that you have to push up this control the throttle and then down again and it becomes solid only after doing this will the propellers react. You see? Okay. Now, actual flight. Keep it away from you. Throttle down. Always start with throttle down because otherwise you're going to have accidents. Talking of which, when you think, when you panic or when you think you're about to have an accident, always drop this to zero. Because if you don't and this crashes against something and the propeller gets stuck, you will burn out the motor or injure yourself. You don't want either. One costs money and the other costs pain. So, to begin with, just gently apply throttle. Very, very gently. Until you become used to what is required to get it to move. See? This is uneven ground, so it's not if you can practice where there is a carpet or something for you, for you to have a nice soft landing in case you crash you will crash uh, all the better but beware that hair will get caught up in this hair fibers whatever so frequently check that every couple two or three times two or three flights rather you should check for that. So, let's demonstrate the controls a bit more. Okay, look at my thumb, my right thumb. Left, right tilt, forward, backwards. Now, as you can see, maybe, um, it's not got a lot of um, leeway in either direction. That is because there are flight modes Every multi-rotor has different flight modes. They all have to do different things. 
In this case, there are three. You have beginner mode, you have normal mode, and you have maybe sports mode. All that does, it limits the angle at which it can tilt. So in beginner mode, you can maybe, let's have a try this, you can maybe, um, I'm gonna show you this, it'll be better. Okay, in beginner mode, it can tilt maybe like that. In sports mode, it'll tilt like that, a bit more. In expert mode or sport mode, you can do like that. Don't go there. Not until you're more accustomed to it. To change the different flight modes, um, push down on this one, the throttle button. This is actually a button as well, by the way. If you push once, two beeps, that means it's in normal mode. Push again, three beeps, that is in expert mode. Push again, one beep, that is the default or beginner mode. Best for indoors and for casual flying. The one on the right is also a button. What that does is it flips. You push it, you push it once, you get a beep, and then you push it in the direction you want to flip. Um, let's see if I can do a demonstration here. Okay, there you go. Oh, that's my cat and my dog. Great. Fantastic. Right. Two beeps. Can I get this in frame? Okay, let's try a flip, shall we? Did you see that? I can't look at the screen and this at the same time. Okay, one more try, okay. Anyway, there you go. Those are the basics of flight. Now, maintenance. Uh, one more thing when um, just that's the golden rule if you're gonna crash drop this to zero no matter what that's the first thing and only thing you need to remember while you're learning yes go away tiger okay when you crash and you will crash these propellers are the first to go they will get bent like so see they will no longer flip no, no longer rotate which is not a good thing and if, even if it's slightly bent, um, you will see it suddenly yawing in one direction or another, or whatever. Or it will be struggling to lift. Yes. Shush. Shush. All you need to do is just bend that propeller back. Um, periodically, um, frequently probably, when, while you're still learning, you should. The best way is to check for alignment. Do they line up with one another? Yep. Rotate one. Still yes. Rotate the other. Yes. Turn it around. Do it again for the other side. By doing that, you're making sure that they are more or less level. There. See? All lined up. That ensures that the thrust is all pointing downwards on all four corners, which allows the motors to react evenly and it won't provide drift um, what else also for hair remove the propellers by squeezing near the hub don't don't pull here hold one one finger here uh, hold the, the body with one hand and gently prise the propeller off with the other it is a tight fit but it will come off there you go this shaft here can also get bent it's hard to focus here. If it looks bent, just bend it back with a pair of pliers or something. It doesn't take much pressure, so be careful. When you are replacing the propellers, they are not all identical. Now, back to front, okay. Facing away from you, these two, the front left and the, and the rear right are identical. Front right, rear left, also identical, they match. There are two types of propellers, rotating clockwise and counterclockwise. Make sure they match up with the original directions. 
every quadcopter is different so you have to make sure that they are make a note of the original rotation before you take them off and replace them okay I think that will do 10 minutes yep people get bored otherwise good luck and have fun